part by Inked Playmats at inkplaymats.com. Your place for custom-made playmats. Design your own or shop from other featured designers. Use promo code CLOTS to save 10% on your order. Inked Playmats. Your game, your style. To do on their website and come join us for a fun-friendly F&M environment. Hello everybody, this is Kevin from Clots Productions, and welcome back to Game 2 of the Semifinals at the Dark Ascension Launch Party. John led the game off with the planes, and then I laid down a forest. Then for his second turn, he put a Mask of Avacyn into play. I played Lay and Go again, and then John laid down a swamp and resolved a Chapel Geist. I then resolved a Voiceless Spirit on my turn. Then John attacked with his Geist, which I took, going down to 18. He then followed it up by playing a Falcon Wrath Noble. I then attacked with my Spirit, taking John to 18. Then I resolved a Kessig Recluse. John attached his mask to his Geist and attacked again, which I didn't block, going down to 15. I then attacked back with my Spirit, taking him to 16. Then post-combat, I put a Grizzled Outcast in the play. John then attacked with his Geist again, which I took, forgetting that my Recluse had Reach and Death Touch, so I went down to 12 life. He then played a Divine Reckoning and chose to keep his Noble. I chose to keep my Grizzled Outcast, and then John gained 3 life from the Noble's ability, and I lost 3, going down to 9 and taking him up to 19. I attacked with my Outcast, which John didn't block, going down to 15. Then during his upkeep, my Outcast transformed into a Crow and Horde Wanton, since I didn't play anything. John then played a Niblis of the Mist, but didn't tap anything. He then attacked with his Noble. Then before damage, I flashed in a Hollow Hinge Spirit and removed his Noble from combat. I chose to attack with my 7-7 next turn, so John jump blocked it with his Niblis. However, before damage, he used a Moment of Heroism on the Niblis so he could gain 4 life, going back up to 19. When it died, he triggered his Noble's ability and took me to 8, and he went back to 20. Then before the end of the turn, I used a Hunger of the Howl Pack to turn my Spirit into a 5-5. John played a Requiem Angel on his next turn, and then I attacked with my 7-7 again. He chose to block it with his Noble this time, so I went down to 7 and he went up to 21. He also got a spirit token when it died. Then I played a Thraben Pure Bloods and passed my turn. John then attached his mask to his angel and attacked, so I chump blocked it with my spirit. Then post combat, he used to gather the townsfolk to get himself two human tokens. I attacked with my werewolf again, so John just chump blocked with one of his humans and got himself another spirit. Then I played a Niblis of the Mist and followed it up with the loyal Cathar. This caused my werewolf to transform back at the beginning of John's upkeep. John then attached his mask to one of his spirits and attacked with both the spirits along with his angel. I chose to chump block the angel with my Niblis and take the other three going down to four. John then moved his mask over to his angel and passed the turn. My outcast transformed again during my next upkeep and then I was out of flyers so I went ahead and just attacked with the team. John chose to block the werewolf with his other human and get himself another spirit and then took five damage going down to sixteen. He already had the game in the bag though, so went ahead and attacked with all his flying creatures next turn, killing me and giving him the win to the game and the match. So that's it for this video, I hope you all enjoyed it. Be sure to come back for the finals, and don't forget to check out the annotations at the end for the full gameplay along with other cool stuff. And as always, if you like this or any other video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and add it to your favorites, and subscribe to be notified when more videos are online.